friends, welcome to my 15 minutes Monday video. Today we're going to Spain and make the fast sketch. I use the quarter of the imperial paper size Arches rough paper and uh, I can say today the name of our job is No Sky. I mean we finished all the sketch without sky and finally, trust me, our painting will look finished. For this I'm gonna use uh, mostly the Munglo color. Uh, this is in my list. Echo palette and my favorite calligraphy brush. I'm already prepared the sketch because I want to save your time. So sketch is done and we start to paint. In my travel palette uh, the Munglo does not exist. That's why I added here right now. Like the mine light color, I'm gonna use the mix between Queen of Crimson Sienna and Munglo. It's a typical street in Spain. Uh, I have a tons of photos of the streets like that. What I took in my last travel in Spain and I, I love it. And it's very nice for watercolor. Like usual, we're making something fast. Uh, that means I'm trying to keep all my parts connected. By the way, uh, if you follow in my videos, you already know everything about this brush. If not, I can tell you, see, it's like universal brush. It's good for any kind of job. I can make something precise touching and teeny lines. And the same moment, I can make the washing. So that's why I like it very much. It's my main tool. And if you don't know what the Mungul is, the, the color, it's a great uh, discovery made by the Daniel Smith. That's why it's in my list right here. It's just perfect color. It's very unusual because this color mixes between three different pigments. And then you paint it with the time, the pigments are going to separate it and you see one mix is going to be a little bit more greenish, a little bit more reddish and blue because like I say it's a three pigments inside that make it extremely interesting and you know you, you're doing just one, one use one tube and make the one mix but on your paper like you see here a little bit greenish there it's starting to look really amazing so that's why I really like it Just a little bit Queen of on Deep Gold for the shadow for umbrellas.
and uh, the simple trick how to make the people on the street we prepare in the background I mean painting around like a negative space and if we already have a shape after that we put something inside and that will be done Like you see before, uh, for the whole the painting, I'm almost used just the two colors except the shadows and umbrellas. And for my feeling, for now, for the all the background like this, it's look okay and enough. So in the end, I'm starting to use a little bit different colors to make it more interesting. But the 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 main picture, I can build just with the two colors, and it's look good, special because that's the moon glow that guy and that guy make my colors look different even if we use just a one And because you see that area is still wet, um, I will start to make the people right after I finish this shadow on the ground. That should be the car and we'll be back to the car a little bit later. So for now I'm starting to make the people and I use the Queen Acredon Sienna for the faces like this and some different colors for the, the dress. So now we're starting to use the different colors. Like you can see it's a pretty simple way to create the people and I'm not care about what we have on the bottom. In the end if it will be a little bit drier I put some details but for my feeling even now it's not necessary. Okay let's make the car. And because it's still wet, I want to keep it connected like this. I like it here. Mm 
that's the indigo Okay, we finished a few persons there. For this time, that will be dry enough to finish the human bodies. I just pinch the shape of the shadow here from the from the building. We're gonna, gonna follow in the same tricks. I'm starting to mix it with a period of violet. I mean, my favorite mix between indigo and period and violet, it's very close to the moon glow, but it's, I can make it much darker. So that's the combination what I'm going to use here. driver strikes We're back to this a little bit later. For now, I'm pinching the guy on the first line. Like you already know, I'm like I love to keep all the spots connected. So for my feeling, it's make it look uh, more alive and interesting. together. My favorite special effect. I have to leave the time for my background to dry to put some details, but during that time 
I can play with the, these two dark buildings. So idea is if I make it really dark, that helped me to make the feeling of the lights there, even if we're talking about the shadow. For this I use the combination between indigo, appearing violet, and just a little bit neutral tint. But no worries, I don't want to keep it dark like this. And for that, I have a trick how to bring the shiny light inside this. This is just the washout technique. So I add some details there on the wall. Plus we're going to connect it to the street signs and some details there. And the same thing we're going to do here. Just uh, this time I add a little bit more Queen Acridon Sienna to make it look like a little bit warm. put some details on top of that after. For now I just make some simple design there. And lucky me it's dry so I can paint here. And like I say on top I keep it a little bit warm as a good combination together. But going down I'm going to the same purple, purple color, color, I mean the mix between Pyrene Violet and Indigo. So you see before uh, that shadow was look like a dark, for now it's a very shiny shadow.
I put some windows there just to make my buildings look better but something very simple because we're talking about the shadow and in the shadow we almost never see the details so that's why I make it simple and transparent and mostly I use the same mungo And that's almost done, just in the end. To make it look better, I'm gonna use the tiny brush. This brush, uh, it's the last prototype. I created that brush with the one company in China, special for my purpose, uh, because I, I'm traveling a lot. And that brush, extremely light, it's not heavy. And what I really need from this brush, kind of like that, it's very pointy, extremely sharp, and it's perfect to make the big shapes like a windows or something. And the same moment, it's perfect to make the tiny lines like a wires or something. So I'm gonna use that to finish it. This. By the way, in few in few weeks, uh, this brush will be available on my website, watercoloronline.com, like other brushes what I'm using. Because all my students following the, the same advice and taking the brushes there. So if you're interested in that, welcome to my website. So I put some details to finish with our design. That soft, small touching, uh, I'm all the time uh, call that noise. I, I, I don't know the better word to explain what I'm doing. It's not exactly the objects or some details or something. It's exactly noise, but that noise make my painting finally look real and interesting because that's a real life details, what we see around us. I'm just not finishing that. I make it like exactly like a noise. A little bit not exactly perfectly understandable. You see that noise make it look really, really nice. Finally. very nice pointy brush and very comfortable for painting you know I'm, I'm trying a lot of traveling brushes some of them I'm still using them I'm traveling with me but if you're sketching or painting a lot sometimes it's heavy 
heavy stuff is not comfortable for your hand and you're just tired. So that's why I'm creating something extremely light and pointy at the same moment. So I can say that's done. We just add some little bit of wires there, which I like to do all the time. It's a huge part of the of the city. Okay, we finished our sketch and like you see we didn't touch the sky. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me or just make the comments after the video and uh, subscribe on my channel on YouTube 15 minutes watercolor with Michael Solovyev and welcome to my site watercoloronline.com on that site you will find a lot of videos for free as well like a lot of courses and online lessons plus all the materials what I'm use. Thank you, be safe and see you next Monday.